Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy A42 5G. So the first thing I want to show you is a sidebar. So very nice, it's a bit hidden, but if you scroll from outside to the inside, you have a sidebar and uh, with uh, quick access to, watch, uh, to WhatsApp, to YouTube and so on. Um, I have customized it already by me, uh, at me. And you can do the same if you're going here on the little pen. And uh, then you can uh, remove some apps, maybe uh, like uh, Google Maps uh, and take something else like uh, the contacts, just for example. Huh? And yeah, if you're ready with, with your customization, just tap here on the home screen, as on the home symbol here, um, the square, and your um, uh, sidebar is edited um, with your favorite apps. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is about cloning apps because uh, hey you can have two whatsapp accounts on the phone or two messenger accounts or um, uh, two snapchat accounts if you want uh, it's possible so but for that we have to clone apps so for that we need the settings for so just scroll down here then go to the symbol for the settings tap it then we have to scroll down to the point advanced features and if you scroll down a bit you will see is something the dual messenger Tap it, and uh, yeah, here you have a list uh, which apps are supported by that feature. So by the way, you can just clone messenger apps. Um, so uh, in my case, so I have not all the apps which one are supported here uh, on my phone. So but WhatsApp is supported, of course. Just go here and install after, and he will ask you also maybe if you want to have a separate contact list. So that means if you want for your second WhatsApp account or messenger account and so on own contacts so you can enable this as well and also later here that you separate contact list um, let me take facebook as well and let me show you how it looks like later so if i scroll here here's my face uh, my, my my first uh, facebook app and uh, the second would come very soon he's still installing it uh, but let me show you uh, that, that is uh, this is the second facebook app now here and you can uh, recognize it with the orange mark here at the corner same thing with whatsapp this is my main whatsapp account um, and uh, this is my second whatsapp account with own content then with the second number uh, here um, also marked with the orange corner Okay, and uh, by the way, you can have also a third app uh, of WhatsApp or Facebook and so on um, here in the secure folder. So the secure folder is a second uh, space, uh, so it's a private space for the phone. Um, so you can have uh, own pictures there, so you can hide pictures, um, pictures, of private stuff and so on. Um, and uh, also private data, you can, also other private data, you can hide there as well, uh, as well also apps um, other people should not really see um, on your phone. Uh, so you can uh, have um, a look here on the secure folder now. So I've enabled it already. I will show you in the next step how you can do that. If I enable now my, enter now my code, I'm here in my uh, secure folder now. Uh, I have an own gallery. You can, uh, ins uh, uh, you can add later also pictures from your uh, main account. Nah? And they uh, can have a second as uh, a third WhatsApp account or a second one as you want. Uh, no? um, but very nice here is that uh, uh, from outside you cannot see that there's another WhatsApp account and so on. So it's really hidden and private as well. Uh, the internet, um, the internet uh, is also have an own browser history. So everything you browse here with your internet, um, you cannot see it outside from the um, from the secure folder. Hear me if I go here. On my basic um, uh, 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 Internet Explorer, I cannot see the browser history I have done with um, the browser app in um, the secure folder. Okay, let me show you how you can enable this. So just scroll down here and go to the symbol for the settings. So then we have to go to the point biometrics and security. And here we will have the point secure folder. So if you tap it, um, you uh, can enable it first. Uh, I've done it already. So um, you have to create a Samsung account or log in with your existing Samsung account. And um, then 
you will have access here to that folder and then you can um, you can lock it then after what's uh, what i would recommend to you with a pin and also you can uh, lock it with uh, a fingerprint and so on or with a pattern um, so as you want and uh, yeah so your phone is more safe so the next uh, thing I want to show you is if you're having children, because then you have also a secure folder just for children. So let me uh, show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and on the second page, you will have Samsung Kids. So if you tap it for the very first time, you have to enter a code um, so that uh, your children cannot um, get out of it to your uh, basic um, desktop um, by their own so then you have to install here some apps so just tap on the apps if you have internet as if you have access to the internet and then the phone will download these apps and uh, what's very nice so um, the child can dial numbers uh, with just the numbers you uh, allow him to dial with the phone he can use a camera but he can uh, have just access to his own pictures yeah? and he have um, child-friendly games uh, maybe like uh, this one here yeah? uh, so we can have a look so a uh, nice ideas here and um, hi and uh, hi so children friendly their games without violence and uh, this uh, bad stuff and so on and also that's very nice we have also a browser uh, where you can set up also just websites uh, the children is uh, the child is allowed to go there and uh, so first of all your stuff is safe that the, uh, that the child cannot uh, remove something of your data or have access to your data of your sensible data maybe and um, it is also on the other side also very safe because um, you have just access to safe sites um, which one you have uh, um, uh, give permission before no? sorry for my english but i hope you understand what i mean and uh, yeah and uh, now if the child wants to enter as or to to uh, um, to enter the basic mode again by going just on the arrow you have to enter always a pin so this is your uh, stuff then to get back here this is the pin you have set up before um, as you were entering the app for the very first time okay the next feature i want to show you is uh, for the eyes uh, because the phone is giving a lot of stress so the screen light is giving a lot of stress to your eyes and uh, there's a blue light filter included let me show you what i mean so just scroll on here scroll on a second time and here is a blue light filter so tap here on the b and you will see uh, the phone is having also the screen is having now a different color because the uh, blue light uh, is removed here almost and um uh, a bit unusual at the beginning but very eye friendly and at latest you should enable this feature at night and um, first of all if you go here on the written word blue light filter we can change the opacity yeah? we can um, make it a bit less yeah but as more as more intensity we have here as better it would be for your eyes yeah, trust me your eyes will become uh, very soon used to that um, different look here okay i want to show you as uh, if you're going here on details we can customize this feature so we can customize it that uh, if you go here on turn on as chat shoot that this um, uh, blue light filter if you don't like it too much to have it on the day that it is just uh, turning on on the sunset and turning off automatically on the sunrise you can enable it or you can give also a specific starting time a customized uh, starting time you um, can set up by your own and the next feature i want to show you is especially for the night it is uh, the dark mode because uh, everything is a bit uh, too bright then um, especially at night you know, everything is white and it's, you know you know what i mean huh? and uh, you can darken this um, white stuff here uh, for the night and uh, this we will find also here at the shortcuts but on the second page as well uh, here at the dark mode no? if you enable it here now you will see that this stuff is turning into black white now and uh, a very nice feature 
because this saves also energy. The phone has an AMOLED screen, by the way, and uh, this allows the screen, everything where we have uh, black stuff here, um, the, uh, the pixels are no more needed at that time. And uh, Samsung, also, also the screen is turn, uh, turning these uh, pixels off and that saves a lot of energy. And that's good for the environment, as you can imagine. So um, a nice mode. And uh, if you go here on the written word, the same thing we have seen before, we have here the details. Uh, and here the details, we can uh, schedule it as well for the sunset to the sunrise. Because on the day, uh, sometimes uh, it is a bit uh, more difficult to see, but as to see some, uh, especially if it's very bright, if the sun is uh, shining on the phone and so on. Uh, but at latest in the uh, evening, you should enable this and you can set it up as well for the sunset to sunrise, or you can give um, customized starting and end time. Okay, the next mode I want to show you is also for the energy because um, uh, if you have just a few percent you're on the phone, uh, you can enable a power saving mode and that would be used by the way also this dark mode. Um, so let me show you what I mean. So just scroll on here, scroll on a second time and here we'll have a power saving mode. And uh, first of all, don't go here on the icons and uh, so, so, but go here on the power mode and here you can set up which power mode you prefer. So at first we have to optimize the one here. Uh, this is the basic one and then you have the medium power saving mode which one reduces a bit the CPU speed and so on and um, reduce also a bit the brightness of, this, uh, of, the, of the screen and turn off some background activities. But I would recommend you um, if you're really in need um, with the energy here or you have to or you know that you have to go for some days without, op without any opportunity for charging your phone, um, then use the maximum power saving mode. Let's let me show you it in my example here. Um, then at first of all, um, the phone will limit the CPU speed to just 70 percent was enough, by the way. Uh, it will turn off the 5G because that um, uh, takes also a lot of data. Uh, uh, sorry, a lot of uh, uh, nah, energy and you can reduce as well the brightness and if you don't like to have a too less bright, you can um, set it up here as well with no uh, decreases or with uh, 5%. And um, yeah, and uh, yeah, just go and apply it and it will take a few seconds and uh, then you will show you, uh, by the way, also what is turning off in that moment. And um, the next thing I will show you right now, because we have just a few apps that we can use in this maximum power saving mode. So first of all, um, there's a screen timeout of just uh, 15 uh, seconds. I will show you it also in the next step. Okay, now we are here at a power saving mode, at a maximum power saving mode. And as I said, we have just a few apps we can use. So the basic apps like the phone messages and internet and settings and I've set up uh, here also YouTube but I can add also other apps here maybe like a WhatsApp or um, a Maps but I think the GPS location is uh, disabled here so you cannot really use uh, um, it uh, for navigation and so on and you can edit this as well if you go here on the three points you can go here on edit and then you can remove as well here some apps if you don't like it, but just uh, the lower um, line here. And um, yeah, the first line will be always the same. And as I said, we have also a fast screen timeout after uh, 15 seconds. So that's the reason why I always have to move my finger here on the screen. And if we can, as we can see here, uh, with 65% uh, of the battery power, so uh, we can have them for estimated five as more than five days. No? Of course, as more we use our phone, as less become it, but um, it uh, uh, it doubles the time at minimum. So uh, if you really if you're really in need um, and you have no opportunity to charge your phone and so on, and just enable this maximum power saving mode. Uh, that's uh, um, a very nice tool. And yeah, if you have the chance again to charge your phone, you can exit this, of course by just tapping here on the three points and go on turn off power saving mode. And then after a few seconds, you are back in the regular mode. And the next thing I want to show you is also something for saving energy. 
Um, but also to have a bit more comfort, um, it depends on you then um, because you can set up the screen timeout. Uh, the basic screen timeout will be after 30 seconds, uh, but you can um, uh, do that uh, longer. And uh, let me show you what I mean. So just scroll on here, then go on the symbol for the settings. Huh? Was not powerful enough. Then we'll go here to the point display. And here we should have the screen timeout. Okay, I took it now for five minutes, not very friendly to the environment, but I wanted to show you it um, a bit better here, the video without <laughs> moving my fingers all the time here. Uh, so basic is, uh, so the default settings is uh, 30 seconds uh, at your phone, but I would recommend to you uh, maybe to have it for one minute. Um, and you can combine this feature, by the way. Um, so this camera is very intelligent uh, because uh, it recognizes also when you are watching on the screen, as if your eyes are on the screen and so on. And uh, with that, you can extend the, uh, um, the lock screen uh, timeout. Um, so the time to the lock screen timeout. And uh, you can do that here if you're back in the main settings. Huh? You add advanced features. Then we need the point motion and gestures. And here we need this point smart stay because uh, as you can see here, the phone is recognizing that you're looking on the screen. Maybe if you're reading something on a website or something like this, um, the phone will not uh, um, do the screen um, time out. So it will not off the screen. And uh, yeah, so you should enable this here. I recommend this to you. Yeah, and now we are at the end. Uh, so we have one more tool, which one? Uh, it's uh, it's a little one, but it's uh, I like it because it's useful in the night. Um, so let me show you what I mean. So you know the flashlight already, it's nothing new. So if you have the icon for the flashlight no, and turn it off and so on, but you can change the brightness of the flashlight by just going here down another time. And uh, so that we uh, have the, this overview here from the shortcuts. We know this already. Ne? And now go here on the written word below the icon of the torch. Um, so flashlight, uh, torch, or um, the name in your language uh, for the torch, then tap on it. And we can change here the brightness. So if we on it, we can uh, make the brightness less, or we can also uh, make it very bright. Uh, so a very nice tool, um, especially if you need it much in the night, in dark areas or something like this. Um, so a nice and useful tool for me. So then let me off it, saving energy as you know. And uh, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope uh, I could show you something new with and uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And uh, yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in, by the way. Or maybe just subscribe me. It would be really a pleasure to see you again. And um, yeah, <laughs> maybe until next time. Ciao.